G'day Preppers, welcome to another video. Today I thought I'd uh, do a little video on uh, another potential pantry prepping item for me, and that is instant mashed potatoes. <laughs> um, I never really considered them before, to be honest, and I, you know, I haven't really seen uh, many people speak about ma instant mashed potatoes in prepping channels, and maybe I've just ignored it or disregarded it. Um, yeah, uh, um, yeah, I've kind of, I'm kind of having second thoughts on the idea. Now, one of my subscribers, uh, Wayne Day, actually mentioned it in my last video, and he said, um, you know, do you get mashed, uh, instant mashed potatoes in Australia? And I said, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure they do have it, but I've never actually used it like this. But uh, I do remember that I have had instant mashed potatoes at KFC, they'll have the potato and gravy. Um, it's even been a while since I've had that, but uh, yeah, um, and I'm pretty sure that's instant uh, mashed potato. So I have had it. Uh, it's well, the KFC version is uh, it's a bit plain. I mean, it, it works with the gravy. If it wasn't for the gravy, I'm not sure I, I it would really do anything for me. Um, but it's great for dunking chips into. Um, so yeah, uh, again, um, I re really never considered instant mashed potatoes, uh, probably because we live in a, a potato growing state here and there always seems to be potatoes everywhere. So, um, but it really makes sense, uh, for a pantry, uh, prepping pantry, just totally makes sense and I thought well there's only one thing that would really uh, um, a bit of a, a deal breaker here would be well how long does it last on the shelf as it is uh, without you know giving it any extra kind of prepping or anything like that uh, um, trying to preserve it for long term uh, as you know most of the things that I prep are not really for long term it's more about rotation but Looking at these packets, the uh, use-by date, now I just bought these, and so the use-by date is the end of November 2023. So that's two years. Now that's pretty, I'm pretty impressed. Two years of uh, use-by date, and no doubt these weren't fresh in the grocery store, so no doubt um, it, you, know, you could probably find it with even longer than two years, but I'm happy with two year use by date because if it turns out okay, um, well, it's pretty easy to go through quite a lot of this in, you know, stagger it, but go through it in two years. And, uh, you know, obviously I wouldn't buy two years supply right up. Um, well, I'd buy two years supply. I just don't know how often I'm going to eat it. I need to try it first. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna try it out and then uh, possibly tomorrow, I'll probably actually make a, a recipe out of pantry ingredients to uh, complement this and, uh, and uh, yeah, just do another one of my uh, pantry uh, cooking episodes with items that I actually prep in my pantry. So, so this is basically the most common one that we've got here in, in Australia. Um, in grocery stores, it's uh, it's just called Deb from Continental, and you know I was very familiar with this packet. I always see it, you know, in the in the aisles of the grocery store when I'm shopping. Never paid attention to it. Just oh, oh yeah, um, and yeah, but I didn't know there's also one with uh, onion. So yeah, well that's handy. They only come in smaller packets, but. By the looks of it, this makes uh, like a pound of mashed potatoes or a half a kilo of mashed potatoes, and that's that's plenty <laughs> um, at a time. This would be for a big family and a big feast. It's certainly worth uh, a go. Um, I just, uh, yeah, to me, if this uh, turns out half decent, it's it would be a no-brainer to have in your pantry. It would probably come close to being within my top 10 uh, best pantry uh, items if this um, turns out to be edible <laughs> um, and it's also uh, there are so many you know from what I've read up and, and stuff there's so many other uses for this you can put it in soup um, as a, a soup base to help thicken the soups and and 
pretty much everything and uh, yeah and sort of uh, if you wanted to add carbs now you know uh, obviously a, a really popular carb ingredient for the pantry is rice now I'm not a big big rice fan I'll survive on it if I have to but I'd much rather eat mashed potatoes than rice <laughs> um, that's just me and so uh, well yeah, let's just give it a go. I've, uh, I'm going to go and uh, boil up some water and apparently if you want to make it a little bit creamier you can add half milk as well. So I think I'll do that and also I'll add a couple of knobs of butter um, because that's how I would normally have potato, a mashed potato with uh, uh, a bit of milk and, uh, and you know quite a bit of butter. So apparently I can make this, this whole packet will serve three. Only a little pack costs uh, under two bucks. Um, uh, it gets cheaper uh, as the bigger you get, but these are the only two sizes you can get really at supermarkets. I did notice there are catering, catering versions where you can get a bigger bag, but we don't have uh, all the varieties like they do, say, in the US. Uh, they've got some great varieties and lots of different flavors and stuff are uh, you know uh where you know we always have to make do with just one brand maybe two brands but uh in the us they have uh, such a big variety awesome you know um but uh way too expensive to buy on amazon and ship it here to australia it's uh yeah crazy so it seems really easy so let's give it a go i'll go and boil up some water and uh, I'll bring the bowl here, we'll give it a mix, give it a taste, see what it's like. Okay, so I've got my hot um, water and milk, half and half, one cup of each, going by the, the recipe. And uh, it's yellow because there's quite a bit of butter in there. <laughs> okay, well, let's go. Let's give this a go and... Uh, um, see once and for all what this uh, stuff is all about and no doubt a lot of you have seen it it's just kind of like almost looks like breadcrumbs in a way got no real smell but I can smell the oniony to it okay so apparently I just got to put this in here and stir it in and then wait 30 seconds and stir it again okay let's do this There we go. Okay, gotten thick really quick. I don't know, maybe should have put more milk in there or more water because it's uh, thickening up really fast. Okay, now apparently I just got to leave it there and uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> it just doesn't sound right, eh? Um, okay, and obviously uh, st sticking with the pantry ingredient theme, uh, so obviously uh, assuming, say, simulating this is SHTF situation, got my bottled water, I got my um, long life milk, and I've got my number one butter, so... That's assuming, you know, like might as well assume that it's, uh, you know, a SHTF situation. Um, and uh, this is how it would be. And uh, well, it looks like mashed potato. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I, I'm not going to, I'm going to try it, but I want to use this potato for a, a pantry recipe. Um, and I'll probably put that video up tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, um, when I've got food in front of me, I'm the type that I have to kind of finish it. Doesn't matter how big the bowl or plate is, I've got to finish it. You know, that's just how I am. <laughs> um, but uh, I'll I'll hold off and just want to see. I, I, I'm really um, really interested and excited about this. <laughs> you know, it's like. You know, I've just come out of a cave and I've just discovered 
instant mashed potatoes. I always knew it was there, but I just never thought of it, you know. So thanks to Wayne uh, for um, reminding me about this product. And, uh, you know, it just makes sense in a, in a prepper's pantry. It just makes sense, especially, um, yeah, as I said, the deal breaker for me was the use-by date. The fact that it's got, um, yeah, November 2023, so it's got two years and, and so that really makes it, you know, a, a great thing. And uh, if it tastes good and if it's worth eating on a regular basis, I'd have, you know, like 50 packets of this. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, I think 30 seconds is kind of up. So apparently I've got to give it a mix. Okay, so this is, I, I cannot, like if I... If I serve this up to people, I don't know how it's going to taste. Like I've got no, I'd, I'd probably put a bit of cracked pepper in here and maybe, uh, obviously maybe some salt. It does have salted butter, but um, because I'm going to use this for a another recipe, um, the, um, the other portions of this, that recipe is going to be quite salty. So I like to, when I have a salt, um, you know, uh, use potatoes, I prefer not to have them salty if I'm adding other things that are. All right, let's go. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Will this be in my top 10 pantry item of all time? Let's give it a go. <laughs> oh, that's, that's weird. It's salty. It's salty more than enough. Uh, the butter probably really helped it because <laughs> I did put quite a bit of butter, maybe two and a half knobs. Um, okay, I'm used to the KFC um, instant potato and that's quite watery and, you know, very bland. Okay, maybe it's the fact that this has got onion in it that makes the difference. But... Uh, <laughs> that's strange that's so weird you know coming from a you know someone that cooks mashed potato all the time with real potatoes um this is i can't really tell the difference that much um it's actually creamier because i used half milk half water a lot creamier because i don't normally put that much water in it but That's outstanding. I mean, wow. What can I say? Um, in a SHTF situation, you know, you're looking for, um, you know, real foods. You know, like you want to, you know, feel normal when you're eating rather than just, you know, bland food. This is fantastic. I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating because I've, you know, I'm putting this on video. This instant mashed potato is great unless you're an absolute chef and um you got a special way to make real you know mashed potatoes from potatoes i mean this is obviously from potatoes too it's just dehydrated um powdered potatoes or potato flakes if you like um this is unbelievable guys look at it i mean <laughs> what does that look like it looks like mashed potatoes i mean it, it tastes great it, this onion stuff, I'm going to buy out my grocery store. Um, I'm going to get every one of them because that is fantastic. It's a really lovely taste. Um, I don't want to eat any more because I want to save this for uh, the dish that I'm making next. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, wow, what can I say? Um, Wayne, you're, you're a legend, mate. Um, <laughs> thanks very much for putting me onto this and just, uh, yeah. Um, you know, giving me the idea about it. And so, uh, you know, I went out and tried it and uh, oh, I bought it and uh, I'm more than impressed and I thoroughly recommend it. If you like mashed potatoes, my gosh, um, it's, it's like a hundred times better than I expected. And um, there's all kinds of things you can do with this kind of thing, like you can make pies. That's what I think I'm going to do is uh, kind of make a, 
uh, a, a pie. Um, check out that. Um, the link should be in the bottom of the video tomorrow, or it should be up tomorrow anyway. Um, wow, instant mashed potato. Probably, it's it's definitely got to go into my top 10 pantry items. Uh, gosh, I mean, number one is my butter, uh, but this butter is not readily available to, to everyone, so, you know, um, it's very expensive if you've got to buy it in other countries. So, you know, it's, uh, but geez, that, that is fantastic. Highly recommend instant mashed potatoes. More preppers have got to talk about this. This is a, a must have in your pantry. If you're in America, you got so many great varieties and you got garlic, you got, um, sour cream and chives. The, and there's some great varieties, organic, um, oh, all kinds. It, you know, like my pantry, you know, I'd have, you know, 10 different varieties if I was in America. But this is continental. It's a, still an international brand. It's good enough. It's actually great. Fantastic. Um, oh, my gosh. Can you imagine this, like, say... <laughs> You didn't have, you didn't know what to eat, or you, uh, you had a vegetarian around at the same time. Mashed potatoes, heat up some baked beans over the top of mashed potatoes. It adds, it uh, acts like a, a gravy, so a mash and gravy, but baked beans, so you got some fiber and stuff. You know, carbs to keep you going for the rest of the day. Um, who knows? Maybe it'll work with spam. You know, might chop up, dice up the spam, heat it up, maybe fry it and serve it with mashed potatoes, uh, a gravy if you like. Uh, the thing I reckon it will work really great with this is uh, corned beef. You know, uh, sort of mince up the corned beef and um, I reckon you can make a really nice uh, cottage pie, um, shepherd's pie. Yeah, I think that's the right word. Shepherd's pie would be great with this kind of corned beef. Um, in America, you also have ground beef ready cooked in a can. We don't have that here. That would be awesome. A base, put this on top, put it in your oven or in a barbecue, close the lid, make a nice little pie, sprinkle some Parmesan cheese over the top. Fantastic. I want to eat this whole thing. And this is about my my serving um but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it <laughs> i don't want to eat it all right guys hope that was a bit of fun for you if you're a prepper even if you're not a prepper have a few of these in your pantry they're amazing I i'm telling you i i like my food but I, I can be a little bit fussy too you know if it was no good i, I would say so but this is a hundred times better than i expected I'm I'm convinced I'm sold. This is this is me from now on. Keep prepping, have fun, and I'll catch you real soon.